Along with two football ten of all the series, I'm looking for ten different things from a football related category. And today we're joined by Angry Ginge. How are you doing, mate? Uh, hello, hello everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, once again on the Luke Pingu channel. And the question I'll ask that the audience is waiting for. Have you got the VO5 sponsorship yet? Well, as you can see from the top line of the description, not not just yet, but we do have Mystery Retro, so if you want to go check them out. Oh, oh what a surprise! I'm in a sponsored video again. Do we ever do non-sponsored videos, Pingu? They're all sponsored by Mystery Retros. To be fair, actually, it might not be. Maybe I'll have to change that intro. <laughs> anyway, um, we're for Football Turnable. Uh, it's been a while, mate. It's been a good three, three-ish months since we last did one. I think it's been a lot longer than that, to be honest. I it probably has, to be fair. But I think it's been at least five months. Something like that, anyway. Uh, it's been a while, so at least we can expose you again today. Didn't I win the last one, Pingu? I can't remember. It was so long ago. I did. Thank you. The Black Friday Mystery Retros are offering 20% off with the discount code PINGU20. So if you guys want to pick up a retro kit or a new kit, they do offer a wide range of different content. Make sure you do check them out. Their link is down below. Right. Your first category is oh, yeah. timed. You've got five minutes. And what I'd like you to do is name me 10 footballers that have ginger hair. Starting now. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. There we go. Second one. Oops. Watson. Looks like JSM, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah it Watson. does. Watson's a very rogue. Yeah, it's because my mates used to always call it me. Ah, Fez. And I had no idea who he was, but obviously now I do. Uh, Anthony Gordon. Is he ginger, though? Well, yeah, because I literally get called Anthony Gordon. He's more strawberry blonde. Oh, right, okay, because strawberry blonde isn't a colour, so it would be ginger, wouldn't it? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so okay, I'll let you have him. Is, is he tenable? Well, the that's the question. That. Yeah, it's tenable, go on then. Okay. The worst thing is, I'm actually struggling now. <laughs> Should I think of what footballers I normally get called? I'm surprised you've not got one already. Oh, Paul Scholes. There we go, Jesus. Imagine forgetting him. I know. Oh, what was, I think he was called yeah, Lalas. over a minute. That is a good one, yeah. Yeah. Lalas, the former icon. Lalas. Woo! American. American center half. Um, mm -hmm. Now I've got what? One, five, I've got five. I need another, I'm not going to get another five. There's no way. You've got plenty of time, mate. I'm looking around my room now to see if there's any, uh, any clues, but I don't think there is. I think you've got another at least three more. Relatively known footballers. Maybe five. You actually used one recently. I'm on not stream. playing FIFA in four months. No, it was on Andy's stream anyway. <laughs> oh. No goalkeepers with ginger hair. Um, <laughs> no, if there was goalkeepers sure with ginger hair, I'd know him. There's a famous one in the Premier League as well you're missing. What, goalkeeper or just in general? Just in general. It's quite known for his ginger hair. Playing now? Or... Yep. Yeah, yeah. playing today. They've lost me. We got just under two minutes, mate, to figure it out. Why is my mind gone blank here? She's why you got to do research before you play with Pingo. Yeah. What do you call a holiday where you go downhill quickly? Skiing. Yep, there's the end of his name. Skiing. No, just, just shorten it. Ski. Yep. That's his last name, Ski. No, he's got a bit more before the ski, but I'm sure you can get it with 40 seconds Ta left. It's not Tarkovsky, is it? Not Tarkovsky, no. There's one of your lives gone. No, it's not, because I said it's not Tarkovsky. <laughs> yeah, 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 put it down now, mate. No, 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 you can't do that. You've only got 30 seconds anyway, so you might mate, use I'm, it. I'm mudded, I'm absolutely mudded. He's got a um, song. No, I'm going throw the towel in. I throw the towel in. I don't. I don't. I don't know anymore. Ginger Spurs, players. Right winger. Kuliskevsky. Oh my god. Go. Gimme, that's gimme, obvious gimme. one. Right. I'll take from that Sweden. one. Well, that's just ping you. Ah, there's your time anyway. So time up, mate. So yeah, I'll have it then. So I got six. I'll take that. Six. Not too bad. Six. Some of the ones you could have said. Jack Colback. Um, oh yeah. Who was the left back you used with Andy? Robertson. The Norwegian. Yeah. No, the hero. Oh yeah, Reese. Reese. Rise. Do you want to Reese, mate? Yeah, Rise. When you see him Rise, and Andy was like, who the hell is Rise? But it's spelled R I S E. What do you want me to say? Yeah. Anyway, Alex McLeish. Could have had him. Oliver Kahn. Never heard of him. I know Kahn. He won't ginger. And Sammer, if you know the Dortmund hero. No. No idea. No. Well, there's plenty of gingers out there. It's quite rare, aren't they? We are. We're going extinct, some would say, Pingu. Mm hmm. We need to update the price ranges. Right, Pingu, your tenable is going to be the top 10 Premier League defenders who have scored the most goals. And your time starts now. Please set your own timer, because I haven't got one. Yeah. We will start off with number one on the list, John Terry. Oh, someone's on Google. I mean, I just know it. He's got like 50 but goals. Is He's got it more tenable, goals than, like, though? I think it is, mate. I think it is. <laughs> That is tenable, John Yeah, you just Terry. wasted about 20 seconds there, didn't you? Do, 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 do. Well, sorry. Um, I like the tenable yeah. um, tune. I'll do it in the video, mate. I don't need you to do the sound effects. <laughs> Less of the cheap thing. I'll just start recording right now and walk, so. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> right. Anyway, I wonder if a bit of a certain someone would be on there from Everton. Everton never shines so brightly. Everton spirit. Of the blues. 
Okay. Uh, I'll go for Light and Baines. Ba-dum. 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 Baines is tenable. There we go. Well done. Can we pick up the pace a bit on the sound effects? Sorry, um, I was going to have some of my porridge. Who else would be on there? I know there's some horrible names from like the early 90s. But you were alive in the early 90s though, weren't you? Mid 90s. There you go then. And I was five in 2000, so yeah. You're 27! If you look on famous birthdays, mate, you can see my birthday. <laughs> Are you in Manchester or Salford for your b birthplace? Salford. Are you like the most famous person from Salford then? Probably not because I'm not a famous pingu, but... No, but on famous birthdays, it gives you like a ranking. Oh, does it? Yeah, so I'm like fifth in Derby. Birthplace? Oh no, mine just says England. No, oh, brilliant. You're not, you're not specified, mate. To be fair, I'm 691 in the whole of people that were born in England, so I think that's still quite good. Not bad. It's not tenable though, is it? <laughs> anyway, you're five minutes is counting down. Yeah, we're halfway through it. Um, I think for longevity, I've got to try a bit of Rio Ferdinand. What up? Bottom, but that is not tenable. No. One of your lives is it, gone. Is there any Man United defenders? Uh, yes, there's there's a couple. I think one's old though. I swear, I don't know. One of them is fairly old, and one of them is very recent. Yeah. Ooh, look, he's up there. He's got a big head, hasn't he? I'm mm. gonna guess just by that statement, you're gonna be thinking Vincent Company. No, not him. No, oh. I was thinking Maguire, but oh. not putting him down yet. Obviously, Maguire is not gonna be in there. He said recent, so who's recent that... Oh, they're, they're retired, but they were recently playing. Oh. Also, it's somebody who played for Chelsea, Arsenal and Tottenham, so he's obviously got no loyalties. Uh, William Gallas, we'll put him down. How oh, do you know that already? That's common knowledge, mate. Well, I'm not giving him any more clues. You can piss right off. I will try a bit of John Arnorisa. Oh my God, Pingu. Wow, what a shout. What, how do you spell it, though? R-double-I-S-E. R-double-I... S E. Congratulations. That is not tenable. Second life gone. just gone. wasted 15 seconds there. Unlucky. Mate. Unlucky. Uh, and I'll just throw in a bit of... Um, who can we throw in? Chelsea. Uh, Paolo Ferreira. And that is your tenable up and a wrap. You got three answers and you were terrible, Pingo. I'll be honest, you're missing Julian Dix, Kieran Richardson, Antonio Valencia, Gary Cahill, Ian hang on, Marshall. Hang on, hang on. Valencia played a lot of his career at right mid and then came back to right, but he didn't score those goals from defence. Are you going to shoot me? I'm going to shoot the messenger. Which one is it? I mean, the messenger's just messed it up, really, I'd say. Uh, excuse me. If you just said Antonio Valencia, I'd have given it you, but you didn't, did you? Yeah, but it's a bit like... Uh, 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 yeah, 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 but, uh, but, 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 you sh Moving on. Thank you. 1-0 to Angry Ginge. Into the next round. I don't know if I give you a trickier one now you've given me that. Oh, Pingu, Pingu. Don't start being a sore loser. Just give me a decent one that I can get a few answers on. We'll give you this then. Um, all the time in the world. So take your time with this. Yep. And what I'd like you to name me are 10 players who have played for Manchester United with the number 10 shirt. Starting off, Wayne Rooney. He was number eight, wasn't he? You just said wearing the number 10 shirt. Yeah, he won it for a decade. Yeah, that does count. Oh, I was going to say, what the f are you on about? Uh, he Marcus... did start with the number eight, though. He did start. Yeah, no, he did start with number eight. Yeah, Marcus Rashford. Yeah. There we go. I'm surprised he didn't do Rashford first. But oh, I guess I mean, the just... icon Wayne Rooney first, mate. Yeah. Come on. Now, for some reason, this is... Oh, Michael Owen. Michael Owen. Did he wear the number 10? Pretty sure he did. That is not tenable, mate. He wore the number seven at Manchester United. I was going to give you number sevens, but I feel like they're much more... No, memorable. that would have been more obvious. I've got a massive poster with everyone who wore number seven behind me. So yeah, that would have been that, that'd be cheap. I can't <laughs> believe I've just lost a life on Michael Owen like an absolute moron. You've got him, um, on, your, you got him on your cheat sheet. Uh, No comment. No comment. You got two. One life gone. I'm, I'm not in a rush, though, am I? No. Take your time. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, what a go. Zlatan did wear the number nine, but he also wore the number 10. Thank Hold you, thank you. Don't scare me very, like that, Pingu. Yeah. Very underrated at Man United. He was, he's actually Isn't so it? good. I loved him, I absolutely loved yeah. him, adored him. Any other players off the top of your head? Obviously, I've got the likes of York, Cole, Van Nistelrooy in my head, but I can't remember if they definitely wore the number 10. Mm. But York and Cole played at the same time, so that's 50-50. However, Van Nistelrooy, <laughs> I'm trying to think when he missed that penalty against Arsenal. What number was he wearing? And I don't know if he was wearing number 10, but I'm going to go Van Nistelrooy. Pretty rude if you got this wrong. Oh, dear, Pingu. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It is terrible. Hold on. Van Nistelrooy is on there. Also... Another one, David Beckham. Thank you for watching the Beckham documentary. Thank you. 
He was number seven, wasn't he? Yeah, he started with 10. They took the 10 off him and then said, oh, we're giving you number seven after Erich Cantorna. David Beckham is terrible as well. well Thank you. Thank you. Back in May, back in 99. Oh, they scored a goal in injury time. What a feeling, what a night. Uh, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not going to go for Ole. I'm going to go for his strike partner, Teddy Sheringham. Teddy Sheringham for number 10. That would be your sixth correct answer. Whoa! There you go. Teddy, Teddy. Right, I've got two lives left, and I think mm -hmm. it's got to be York or Cole. But I'm pretty sure York was number nine. Maybe neither of them were number ten. And I'm just saying like an absolute moron. Wouldn't be the first time. Cheers, Pingy. There's obviously some big names that I'm leaving out. I know Bobby Charlton wore the number nine for England anyway. Hmm. And the England and obviously United numbers are different. But surely it'd be number nine for United. But I'm not I'm not safe enough to go on that. For some reason, I've got Mark Hughes in my head, but I've got no idea why or what number he wore. So I'm, I've got two lives left. I'm going to have to just go for two guesses here. Which one are you going to accuse? Just for that one, I'm going to go Bobby Charlton. Sir Bobby Charlton did wear the number nine for 10 seasons at Man United. Uh... But he did wear the number 10 for one year right at the end. So that is 10 of a world. That is such a guess and I love it. Come on. I think back in the day, they weren't as like committed to kit numbers. Oh, okay. So like, they were, yeah, get, yeah, yeah. They kind of just picked up one. a shirt in the dressing room. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense to be fair. That's what I love for the day. Depending well, on what Sunday they're starting league. 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, I've got an extra life there then. How many am mm. I, I on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got three more. Three more for all 10. Of the tens. I'm gonna go with the other one that was in my head then. I'm gonna go Mark Hughes. I mean, I've got a feeling that that's gonna be wrong, but I just something about it. You've uh, Hughes him. Oh my god, one more of them, I'm gone. Let's see if we can mark him off on this terrible board. Goodbye. And he is terrible, well done, mate. He is terrible. <laughs> Mark he Hughes, wore it. Mike, yo. 88 to 95. 95, yeah, I thought it bit. was. Fun little fact about Mark Hughes is he's one of the few players to play for both club and country in the same day. I think he played for Wait, Wales when? in the morning and then went played for Bayern Munich at night. When? In like the 80s or 90s. No, when did I ask? Oh, brilliant. Cheers, thank you. Shut up. Right, let's go. All right, the other two I've got in my head now is... Cole and York. And I, I know for a fact York. I, I know I know it weren't. I'm going to go Andy Cole. But I don't think, I don't, Cole. I'll be honest, I don't think either of them wore 10. One of the two did wear double figured numbers. Right, so I got But it wasn't it, Andy yeah. Cole. There you go. Where's your life gone? He was the number nine at Man United. Oh, he was number nine. and it, Okay, brilliant. So Andy Cole was 95 to uh, 02. I'm trying to think of my Man United Monopoly board and I'm trying to think who's on there. Why, do you have to buy the players depending on if you land? Yeah, that's how Monopoly works. Um, well, usually it's buildings. You usually buy buildings, not people. But, you know, I guess it's football. Exactly. You can't just buy Old Trafford 25 <laughs> times on the board. All right, I'm, I'm going to... How many have I got here? Eight. I've got eight. eight sorry. I've got one life yeah. left, so it's my next guess. It's over. Rooney, Rashford, Ibra, Rood, David, Teddy, Bobby, and Mark. Oh, my God. I've got, I'm have got. i going to be honest. My education on this player, I've got zilch education on him. I just know he's a United player, and I know he's a very good one. And the reason it's come to me is because I've just said Bobby. So I'm going to go Nobby Styles. Nobby <laughs> that, Styles. That's a shout as well. If that's right, by the way, it's the best answer you've ever had on Tenable, genuinely. There is a player called Nobby Lawton who wore the number 10. And Nobby Styles also wore the number 10. Well, didn't it? That is terrible. Get in! Come on! You've done that in styles. Oh, and you have to ruin it with sh jokes, don't you? All the time, Pingu. Mate, I got 9 out of 10. Who was the last one or who was another one? You still, you can do another one if you want. You've still got one more life. You can have another stab and then get it wrong. Oh, can I? Yeah, so just say um, any Man United player. I've got 9, so I'm not going to sit here and think. I'm not really bothered. But, do you know what? I'll go for it. I don't think it's right at all, but I'll go York. Dwight York, Trinidad and Tobago's finest, is not turnable, yeah, unfortunately. What number did he wear? 19, so... Oh, uh, okay, I knew it. I knew it Ten, ten I knew and nine. Went. Yeah, yeah. You could have maybe, when I when I said that back in the day, they just gave kit numbers to anyone, depending on what the starting 11 was. George Best wore it about three times. Ah. That could have, could have been one. Dennis Law as well. Old Man United legend. Anyone else that you would know? Alan Brazil from TalkSport, if you know him. I don't. I can't stand TalkSport. Uh, and Paul Scholes wore it in 07, 08 oh, when he came enough. back out of retirement. So some good names on there. Some good names, but you've done well. you got nine. I'll take that. I'm happy with that. All right, Pingu. 
Name me 10 players who have scored a bicycle kick or an overhead kick. You, you know what I'm saying? But don't name me yeah. a rubbish one. I want good ones only. Mm. The thing is with a bicycle kick is not all of them are like smooth. I think we can be slightly flexible though. Like as long as it's kind of a bicycle. Yeah, I suppose um, so. Uh, we will start off with a very famous one for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That is terrible, Zlatan. Yeah, against England. What a goal. What a goal. I'm sure... Oh. Luke yeah, Shaw? No, try... That's incorrect. No, not Luke Shaw. I'm not one Luke of your Shaw. lives gone, Pingu. He was bad as me. No, I'm sure Emre Chan scored one for Liverpool against Watford. He did. What a goal that was. Emre and Chan. Can you check that one up? Actually, do I know any for Derby? No. You'd have to search them up because obviously you wouldn't know. No. Oh, there is one that's kind of like it for Derby. Is there? Yeah. At least I'll know then what the like... Yeah, do you know what? Uh, I'll say Mason Bennett for Derby. Let's have a look at this one. Ball comes in. Oh! What a goal! But that's not really a bicycle. Is it not? No. And that is one of your lives gone. At least I know now what is and what isn't. Can you just get the obvious ones over and done with? Because you're annoying me how you've not said them. Oh, yeah, that, that one. Uh, we'll go for Wayne Rooney. Thank you. The best player to grace Britain and the Manchester United. That's one of the obvious ones. Can you get the other ones out? The other obvious ones. Are you thick in the head? Oh, my God, you're being serious. I just can't think. I can't. You've got a list in front of you. No, I so... haven't. I'm watching me mate play Fortnite. Um, we will try Gareth Bale. Oh, we'll try because that's not obvious. Well done, Gareth Bale. Is that in Champions League? Yeah, well, he's, he's right. scored multiple, but yeah, well, I'll go for the one in the Champions yeah. League. What a goal. Number one in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Fairly obvious name. Oh, Sebastian Coates. Let me double check that. How are you Nick, spelling it? Uh, Coates... Um, with an E before the S. Do you know his dad also played in the Prem and they called him Coates? Right. Bicycle kick. Let me have a look. That's a bicycle kick. I'll give it you. I'll give it you. I'll so give what's, it you. Why, why is that a bicycle and Mason Bennett isn't? What's well, the difference Because Mason there? Bennett's flicked it on, whereas he's gone sidewards. And that's poor um, goalkeeper for that one, I must admit. Very poor goalkeeper. I mean, it is... I think it's Julius Cesar. Yeah, terrible goalkeeper compared to me anyway. Anyway, um, another one in the Champions League, you say? Yeah. We'll try Cristiano Ronaldo. Ooh, I'm not sure about that one. It's sure tenable. On it's point. tenable. Yeah, I think he managed to get one whilst he was at uh, Real Madrid. Oh, yeah, that one against Juve, yeah. Yeah, that was a proper bicey as well. Yeah, was, yeah, there's no messing about from Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. I have thought of another one. Go on. Against Manchester City. And it was a very tall man, Peter Crouch. Oh, yeah, you can have that one. Crouchy boy. What a, what a goal. Unbelievable. Seven on the clock. Three more to go. Two lives. I wonder if you're like the Brazilians, actually. Maybe they're a good way to go. Still feel as though you're Shall missing we? an obvious one. Still missing an obvious one, apparently. Very obvious, may I just say. Do you know what? He scored a 18 minute hat trick at 36 the other night. I'll try Luis Suarez. Oh, that was one of the ones in my head. He must have go. scored a bicycle. Probably against Norwich. Yeah. VAR in play. Watching the footage now. Cuts it back. Luis Suarez! <laughs> Check complete. Goal. That is a bicycle kick if I've ever seen one. Luis Suarez, hide your shoulders. He's a nibbler, but he's on there. So I need two more. Two more, you need. And I've got not got a single Brazilian somehow. I muted myself in Discord. Oh, he's not uh, Neymar or Messi yet. He's beyond me. Absolute moron. Let's try Ronaldinho. Surely he's got one at some point in his career. <laughs> You'd imagine so. Ronaldinho, 2006 to 2007. Yeah, that does count, but questions of offside there. Ronaldinho. <laughs> Final one. Let me try Darren Bent. I give up. I give up. There's some really good quality videos on this for Darren Bent's bicycle games. I know, yeah, Jesus. FIFA 12. <laughs> <laughs> FIFA. Yeah. Oh, best ever. No, no, I'm sorry. Darren Bent's not got one. It's all FIFA 12. Incorrect. You're not having that. You can't have that. Two lives gone. Yeah, but I scored one on FIFA, actually. No, absolutely not. Does not count. Um, let me try. He's got the audacity to try an over a kick, you know. Bingo, you're killing me, mate. I'm missing a big one. No, I'm just going to say it for you if you don't get it within 10 seconds. Um, I'll try. I was just about to say someone. Oh, I'll try Sadio Mane. I'll give up. Lionel Messi. Oh, has Messi got one? Has Messi got one? Are you on smack? 
Oh, well, look at that one from Sadio Mane. Getting snorried. Right, you can have the Mane, then you can have Mane. Oh my goodness. 10 out of 10, and you add one life remaining. Very nice. At least it makes it 15 13 on the scores. So, two points behind you. Going into the final round, we have got you a category that I think you'll do well with. Yeah. And what I'd like you to name me, Ginge, is the outfield 10 for Manchester United's FA Cup game against Crystal Palace in 2016. Ooh. <clears throat> David De Gea. Uh, outfield 10. Oh, outfield. Sorry. Phil Jones. So you Dota. You're going for Phil Jones, are you? Yeah. Like your first guess. Yes. Bill Jones is not tenable. He's not in the starting What? Moment. He was on the bench that day. Right, I'll go playing. with Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford in 2016. It is tenable. Well done, mate. He wasn't wearing the number 10, though. He no, he was wearing 39. Um, mm. I'm going to go Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Remember the name, because he is tenable. Oh, I did, have actually, I did actually have a team poster of the whole Louis Van Aar squad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> where is it? <gasps> Uh, next one, I'm going to go Fellaini. Marouane Fellaini. Yeah. Great signing for Moisey. He's a great and he's for United. Thank you. Yeah, he's in there. Um, I'm going to go Juan Mata. That is a good one, because he is tenable. Thank you. Thank you. All so far. I'm going to go Marcus Rojo. Ooh. It's a Rojo. shout, isn't it? That is a shout. Yeah. And it is tenable. He did oh, play get left it. back. Anthony Martial. About when you signed him, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. So if he signed, Back he must have started in the final. And he did start on the left hand side. It's terrible. Oh, get in. Um, Ander Herrera. Great player. Great Very player, Ander player. Herrera. But he didn't feature a single minute in the uh, FA Cup final, so he's not terrible. What? <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's an interesting lineup, this. Right, I'm going to go Matteo Damien. Damien. Unfortunately, that is your final life gone. He did come off the bench for Rojo, but uh, wasn't in the starting team. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Um, so do you do you risk your lives or do you cash him? Ashley Young. Ashley Young had to gamb- start. You gambling Ashley Young? No, I'm not gambling Young. No, wait, I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna go Antonio Valencia. Oh, he's had a last minute change. Imagine if Young started and Valencia isn't. Chill out. Antonio Valencia is tenable, yes. brother, mate. Or did Young start? Well, if Rojo's left back and Valencia's right back, what right, do you okay, think? Okay, God, can I thought Rojo was centre back? So you give me some of that. I'll take that. I literally gave you. I said he was left back oh. when, I, when I gave you Rojo. Pay attention, mate. Um, Have I said Memphis Depay? You've not said him yet. Should I say him, Pingu? That's up to you, mate. You're gambling all your lives if you do get this one wrong. By the way, I don't know Schneiderlin, Schweinsteiger, Carrick. We've got many players. I'm gonna go Morgan Schneiderlin. You wish get it all, mate. Yeah. Morgan Schneidlin is not tenable, mate. Oh, my God. Oh, gone. my God. That is embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. I've sat here with a Libby Van Aal poster and the full team, and I've still got it wrong. <laughs> who, who do you think is starting at CDM, then? You had basically the whole midfield and attack, apart from one man. Who was it? He's a big name. Big name at Man United. Carrick. Michael Carrick. Well, that's just embarrassing. It is. Uh, you also missed the centre-backs. Do you want to have a... Have a go at who they were. Chris Marlin. I said Chris Marlin, no? Yeah, Chris Marlin was there. Why don't you just say him, mate? Yeah, good one. And... <laughs> who else is on that team? <laughs> I don't know, I threw it away. Um, it's not Paddy McNair, is it? You can't see it, can you? Can't see what? You can't see it if if it's over there. So what what are you if you can't see it? Daily Blend, okay, brilliant. There you go. There's your final centre-back, Daily Blend. Right then, Pingu, I would like for you to name, because I like what you did this for me, it was quite good. I'm going to do what I got. I'd like you to name the outfielders for the England team in the Euro final. 2020 final. 2020 against Italy. Mm. We will start off with Harry Kane. That is tenable. He is the captain of the number nine. We will go for Harry Maguire. That is tenable, booked in the 106th minute. What do you mean? Just, just a little bit of trivia there, that's all. Oh, booked. Uh, for a second there, but in the 106th minute. I thought you meant he came on in the 106th oh, no, no, minute. No, or no, booked. Okay. Yeah. Who would it be? Oh, he did score. We'll go for, uh, I'm pretty sure of this. We'll go for Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is terrible. Uh, and that's me winning the episode. So <laughs> what? You only got 15 points because you, you lost all your points from the last round. Did I not make that clear? So I've lost. Yeah, you've lost. Let me think of some other players that would have been in that team. We will go for, let me try a bit of Declan Rice. That is incorrect. Really? Yep, so that is one of your lives gone. No rice. Guess they went for chips instead. And we'll wrap it up there, please. Can we just wrap it up now? Oh my God, what are you... Oh. 
Rice is terrible, by the way. Oh, he is terrible. Yeah. You said he wasn't there. I know he wasn't. I know he wasn't. I, know he wasn't. I, don't, I don't know why I've said that, because now you've got that uh, awful pun out. Um, anyway, uh, who else was in that team? Right back would have been Carl Walker. Incorrect. Really? Kyle Walker. Oh, no, he was right back. Trip. Oh, I was just... <laughs> Kyle Walker is terrible, yeah. Yep, yep. Cool. But I'm pretty sure he's playing uh, centre-back, not right-back. Yeah, maybe that is right, to yeah, be fair. So. So, uh, I'll go Kieran Chippy then. Of course you will. <laughs> just, I can't. Yeah, nice. Well done. I just gave you that one as well. Brilliant. Absolute moron. Who else in that team? I'll go Raheem Sterling. Yep. Uh, midfield with Rice would have been a bit of Jordan Henderson. Incorrect. What are your lives gone? Oh, dear. We'll go for... Who did it been then? Mm. I go with the greatest player in the world right now. But he started the final in Euros. I don't know. Say his name. I can tell you. Is it Jude Bellingham? Nope. Another one well, incorrect. Me. That is you two me, lives Jude? gone. No, you can't do that, mate. That's not, that's uh, not I crazy. can't. Two lives gone. Ooh, I think they came off the bench. Those three. Just can't think. I've won the episode anyway, but... Um... So midfield. I'll go for Calvin Phillips. Boom. Boom. That is terrible. It's a shame he doesn't get the game time at City. Well, I'm sure Pep knows what he's doing, mate. <laughs> I'm not sure. Then again, he has only just won the treble, so... Only one treble, it's not... You know. It's not even the treble, it's a treble, but yeah. What am I missing? Another centre-back. We'll try Stones. That is terrible. There we go. And there's only one player that you need to get now. Yeah, it's kind of a 50-50 between a couple. That's how a 50-50 works, yeah. Yeah, Rashford or Saka. It might not even be either. They might have just come off the bench, to be honest. Who else would be on that right-hand side? Or left-hand side, and then Sterling goes right. I can't think of anyone. I am going to push you for an answer, because I have got to go to United Luton. I've got Darby Barnsley. Yeah, well, no one gives a shit about that game. I will go for Marcus Rashford. Not tenable. Oh, dear. It's all your Let lives gone. Are you going to risk yeah. it for a chocolate biscuit? No, because I won the episode. Don't I'll, be I'll a weirdo. Don't be a weirdo. Just don't ping you. Have a bit of fun for once in your life, please. No, no I wouldn't win. I wouldn't win. No, I never win you. these, mate. Ping I never you. win these. Stop being a weirdo. If you, if you, yeah, don't, don't, have, if you, if you don't have another guess, I'm just not going to say you're a recording. So which one is it? Yeah, but I don't know who it is. That's the thing. It could be anyone. Well, just don't be boring. Oh, no, you lose an episode of Made Up Terrible. Oh, no. Yeah, but it's, it's it's the principle. I can't lose to you because then people go... Oh, my God. You no, what? Pingu, Pingu, Pingu. Let's have another guess, please. It's so obvious. You've already said him. I've already said him? Yes. No, but you, you you baited me with the Bellingham. Right, yeah, that was as a joke. I'm sure Saka came off the bench, though, because it was Saka, Rashford and Sancho all came off the bench. Right, and one then, of them uh... came off the bench, yeah. No, no, two of them did, mm -hmm. and they were subbed on in the 90th, in the 100th plus <laughs> minute. The other one started. Please, don't be boring don't for started. once in your life. I don't think he started, though. I'm sure he didn't start. I think he just baited me. I'll oh, go on, then. You, you baited me, mate. It's Saka. <laughs> you stupid bastard. Incorrect. All your points lost. And I win the episode. Get in, you absolute stupid bastard. Who is it, then? Who is it? Mason Mount. <laughs> Oh, of course it's Mason Mount, the Derby player. Can we play you? Can we play you? Can we play you every week? Woo! Thank you very much, everyone. It's been so easy. Someone let me know in the comments when Pingu is turning up. At least I'm right. I said all three of them come off the bench. I was right. You lied to me. Listen, Pingu, the game's a game, mate. You're known as a liar now. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm known as a liar on a series he's nicked from ITV. I think I'll be all right. I don't know. It might, might just damage your reputation, mate. No more uh, no more Simon videos. Oh, no. God, God damn it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you check out Ginge. Drop a follow if you are already. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.